James Trollope reporting. Tonight's Scene South, our weekly arts report, looks at the world of magic. For a very few, it can turn into a profitable career. Jenny Hull has been to Reading, where a number of young hopefuls were trying to prove that they were the next Paul Daniels. Welcome to 1993 Lambrook Magic Show. Lambrook Preparatory School near Bracknell offers an unusual activity to its pupils. The school's magic club plays an important part in some pupils' personal development. If I read the card, that is magic. I think it helps their self-confidence a lot. Um, the people who perform are not necessarily games players, they're not necessarily people who perform in major school drama, um, but they're people who their confidence certainly develops a lot as a result of doing it. Matthew Stokes from Camberley is 16. For the last six months, he's been working on an act for a national junior magic contest. Earlier this month, Matthew performed his act in the stage magic competition at the 18th Home Counties Magical Society Junior Day. I don't think I'll be able to make a full-time career out of it. Eventually, after my college, I'd like to perhaps do some cruise ship magic, but that, that's a long way off at the moment, so I'm, I'm just happy as I'm going at the moment, doing a few shows and competitions. This event takes place in Reading and attracts young magical enthusiasts from all over the country. The competition was keenly contested. This event started in 1974 when we felt that there was a need um, for youngsters to be trained in magic and trained properly. And over the years, the youngsters that we've seen coming to our junior day, some of them have matured beautifully. The competition was just one feature of a day which included tuition from professional magicians offering advice for beginners. First of all, try if you can and find a local magic society which you normally will find in your area where you live. The only way you can learn it really is by becoming like a red coat or blue coat at Pontins or Butlings. That is where you get a lot of experience for young people. I wouldn't like to be just doing magic shows. I do a lot of performing, but I sell magic as well. The two things combined are fine. The one on its own, I'd be uh, very reticent to even try it. You can see two performers both do the same trick. One does it and you think that's the best thing you've ever seen. Another one will do it and you think, mm. so what? And the reason is the way that performer presented it. And that's where the art comes into it. And judging the art were three experts, including the editor of the world's only weekly magical magazine. The standard was, was quite high. It was a very good competition. Uh, a lot of competitors and they all had tried very hard. The eventual winner was 16-year-old Christian Glenwright, who travelled from Northumberland to take part. Matthew Stokes' hard work paid off, and he went home with the most promising act award. Magic is a performing art. Uh, the skill is part of that, and it's very difficult to separate the two. But magic is certainly a part of a performing art. By the magic of television, you're back with us. And just a reminder to any youngsters watching at home not to try any of those tricks without adding.